Welcome to today's Kingdom Kids Connect video. Today we're going to be learning about Kingdom Parables. But first, do you know what I just learned? I learned that elephants hiccup also. Isn't that cool? Speaking of elephants, they have my book today. Can you help me find the elephant? Over here? Um, I don't see any elephants. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You guys have been over here. Okay, okay. I see one. All right, I'll go get my book. Seven hours later. Got my book. Okay, let's get started with today's story. Kingdom Parables. One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Large crowds of people gathered around him, so he got into a boat and sat down. All the people stood on the shore. Then Jesus told the people parables, or stories, to teach them about the kingdom of God. Jesus' disciples asked him, Why do you teach in parables? Jesus answered, Not everyone will understand the hidden truths about the kingdom of heaven. Jesus reminded them about some of the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Some people look, but they do not see. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Jesus made these prophecies come true. Jesus said, You are blessed because you do understand. Jesus told a parable, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but it grows taller than the garden plants. It becomes a tree, and the birds come and build nests in its branches. Jesus continued, The kingdom of heaven is like the leaven or yeast that a woman mixed into 50 pounds of flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a chap. Jesus told another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field that a man found. He reburied it, and then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one priceless pearl, he went and sold everything he had and bought it. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place and went to Nazareth. The kingdom of God is growing in the world. And the kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. While we wait for Jesus to return and to fully set up his kingdom, we carry out the mission about telling people about King Jesus who rescues sinners. All right, we're going to watch a short little recap video and then I'm going to ask you guys some questions. So turn on your listening ears, catch your bubble, and let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Megan and I'm Jessie. What's our Bible story about today, Megan? Today is about parables about God's kingdom. Pair of bulls? Like the cows with horns? <laughs> no, not a pair of bulls. Parables. Parables are stories that Jesus told to teach people something about God's kingdom. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> yes. Jesus told stories about things people knew and understood to help them understand something about God's kingdom. That's a good idea! <laughs> yep, listen to the story. One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Many people came to hear him teach, so Jesus got into a boat and sat down. The people stood on the shore and Jesus told them parables, or stories, to teach them about God's kingdom. Jesus' disciples asked him, Why do you tell stories to teach? Jesus said, Not everyone will understand what is true about God's kingdom. In the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah said, Some people look, but they do not see. Hmm. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Oh. Through Jesus, Isaiah's words came true. Jesus told the disciples, You are blessed because you understand. Then Jesus told a parable. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest seed but it grows taller than the garden plants. The seed becomes a tree, and the birds build nests in its branches. 
Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like leaven or yeast that a woman mixed into flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. God's kingdom is like a treasure buried in a field. A man found the treasure and buried it again. Then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a man looking for beautiful pearls. When he found one very valuable pearl, he sold everything he had and bought it. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place and went to his hometown. God's kingdom is growing in the world. His kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. While we wait for Jesus to come back and set up his kingdom, we obey him and tell others about King Jesus who rescues sinners. Question one. What items did Jesus compare God's kingdom to in the parables? Jesus compared God's kingdom to a mustard seed, yeast or leaven, buried treasure, and a priceless pearl. Okay, question two. Why did Jesus teach using parables? Jesus taught using parables because not everyone will understand the hidden truths about the kingdom of God, but those who do are blessed. Okay, that's it for today's Kingdom Kids Connect video, but I wanna challenge you guys to do two things this week. One, I want you to read your Bible at least four times during the week. You guys got that? Four times, well that's eight. Four, four times. Think you can do that? Great. Okay. Second challenge, I want you guys to tell somebody that Jesus loves them. You think you could do that? Fantastic. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next week. Bye.